What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross, man. And we are in the clutch. Hey. hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, of the bitch today. You feel me? So, there's uh, a lot going on crazy. with this whole Kendrick and Drake beef. And now it's gotten into the legal side of things. Yeah. Uh, we actually just finished uh, reacting to the Kendrick Lamar Squabble Up mm -hmm. uh, music video. We just checked out uh, his recent album uh, a couple of days ago. And now. Uh, Drake has said, yeah, man, it's time to go the legal route. You know that big red button I was talking about? It's the suing button. But Damn, he's not, not suing Kendrick. Suing <laughs> he's not suing Kendrick. He's actually suing UMG, a label, a distribution company that he works with and has made UMG millions hey. and millions of dollars. <clears throat> and now he has some issues with them, man. Man, so look, we're going to go ahead and read this paragraph by paragraph. Kind of going to get our thoughts on it real quick and just put a brief synopsis on what we feel like is going on. You guys let us know in the comments as well. But um, according to TMZ reporting, you know, always got to cite your source. Yeah. Um, a spokesperson for UMG tells TMZ the suggestion, of course, is how they started off, that UMG would do anything to undermine mm -hmm. any of its artists is offensive and untrue. We employ the highest ethical practices in our marketing and promotional campaigns. No amount of contrived and absurd legal agreements in this pre-action submission can, can mask the fact that fans choose the music that they want to hear. Now, this is their response uh, to find out about the lawsuit that Drake mm -hmm. is going to pretty much ensue on them. It says, Drake seems to think there's some shadiness behind Kendrick Lamar's monster hit, Not Like Us, and he's filed a lawsuit to investigate how it got so big. Of course... Not like us. The song is the effect uh, had, is the song that effectively ended the Kendrick and Drake beef because its popularity buried mm -hmm. bur popularity buried Drake. Yeah. But now he's alleging Universal Music Group used bots and payola schemes to pump up the song. According to the docs obtained by TMZ Hip Hop, Drake says an inside source told him UMG made covert payments to multiple platforms, including radio stations, to play and promote the hell out of Not Like Us. Legally, that's known as payola, and it's prohibited by the FCC. Mm, now that's. That's very interesting only because... Getting sticky. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely getting sticky. But it's, it's, it's interesting because it's not that's not something, you know, new. This has been going on. Just yeah. don't get it twisted. These companies, these like record yeah, labels, yeah, yeah, yeah. they definitely will be, since we're in this social media age, mm -hmm. they will definitely... Uh, Try to they'll boost, pay, up, the, they'll boost the, up the numbers. They'll have some bots and do what they got to do. Because at the end of the day, it's a business they're trying to get a return. Before social media, how you think a lot of these songs got all these radio plays? You know, yeah. they were they were doing some stuff that they probably shouldn't have been doing. Probably wasn't legal. Like, hey, you play this more, we'll pay we'll add play. we'll add a little bit more on the top just for you. That's that pay to play. You know what I'm saying? So, I am I surprised by this? No, but at the same time. We can get into our opinions on if if Drake should be making this move or not, but let's continue to check out right. what else uh, the article has to say. It also says Drake points out UMG has paid settlements in the past for this kind of thing. Like mm -hmm. in 06, when the label paid $12 million to the New York Attorney General's office for a pay for play scheme, mm -hmm. just named that. Um, in the docs, he also claims a whistleblower has accused UMG management of spending thousands in May 2024 on bots in order to get the song to 30 million streams on Spotify. And it also pays social media influencers to promote the song. He alleges the label dropped all copyright restrictions <laughs> so the influencers could repeatedly post the song, helping it spread like wildfire. Now, now here that that's where the you put a pin in real quick. Yeah, cool. because um, we can attest that uh this part is true. When not like us dropped allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> but have us understand. Yo, uh, in the clutch said. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it is true. If this is what it is, we can attest for the first, I want to say, month when we reacted not like us, it was monetized. We got the green light. We got the green light. Like, soon as after we watched it, because we watched, watched it as soon as he dropped the actual track, after mm -hmm. we was listening to it, it was monetized and it yeah. stayed monetized for about like a month. Yeah, it was up there for a while. It was monetized for a month. And then they demonetized it. And then after that, they was keeping the money. Mm -hmm. And this is, wasn't the only time. It was other YouTubers that were talking about it on Twitter. Like, hey, Kendrick threw us an alley. He's, monet he's allowing us to monetize it. When really, it was UMG. And once they got the hype of everybody reacting to it. Because now, when you <laughs> tell other content creators, hey, you can actually check out this song. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to get copyright. Or you're not going to lose no money from it. 
more people are going to start checking it and, out. And let me add to that, not to cut you off, but this is the thing that y'all got to understand. And just from us personally, mm -hmm. we, we kind of straightforward people, and we don't do with all of the little nicks and crannies that a lot of people do. Y'all understand, UMG, whenever we do a reaction, they swipe the video. Either they block it fully, or they immediately take the copyright, yeah. put a copyright claim on it where we don't make any money from it. So when we've always done music, anything that fall, fell under the UMG umbrella, we just it was just like they were Thanos. Like yeah. they would come in, snap, and I mean, before the video was fully uploaded to YouTube, they would already take, um, they would already have a copyright claim on it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of videos that we did check out, they'll block it. Mm -hmm. Hell, even after they let us post it, they'll block it mm -hmm. maybe weeks or months later at a time. So you got to understand the magnitude of that being exposed. Because it was funny. I'm just like, yeah, they, monet they let us monetize that. And it was just like a thing to us at first. It was just... We didn't know if it was something weird that happened or mm -hmm. if they just missed us. Cause in this world of uploading things and content, you just never know who's watching, who's allowing, who's just blocking and, you know, mm -hmm. kind of mediating your channel to stop you from, you know, fully going far. So it's just like one of those things where we just didn't know. And I think we seen um, a couple other YouTubers mention the fact that that was happening. Like, mm -hmm. hey man, they're monetizing this track for everybody. Mm -hmm. Man, Kendra letting us eat, whoopty whoopty whoop. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, well, that's what's up. That's kind of live. Yeah, you know, that's dope. We're, we're not thinking in our ignorance. We're just thinking like, oh, that's dope. Like, yeah. Not realizing that's a marketing plan too, because YouTubers started to eat Ooh, that bro. up. Um, when I tell you people were, I mean, we touched on the beef the back and forth as long as we could and then we kind of did a video of like our general mm -hmm. you know thoughts and final opinions on. and then we moved on bro there were people just doing videos and i'm like in Ju june i'm like damn people still doing mm -hmm. and i mean it was just one of them like, like people that don't things. even listen to Some music like that on their channel they were reacting to the song <clears throat> mm -hmm. i've seen so many content creators that don't normally do that and they were at reacting to it because guess what it was getting monetized and it was popular. It was so popular. at the end of the day, there may be some credence <clears throat> to what's going on About here. The bots and because copyright claims. At the end, like it's money, and they know if you keep pushing the song, ultimately it's going to generate a lot more revenue on all social media platforms. Because guess what? You're gonna clip it. You're going to post yep. it to Twitter. You're, you're going to post it to, to TikTok. You're going to post it to Instagram. Facebook, you're going to post it Snapchat. to Facebook. You're going to post it everywhere. Mm -hmm. And guess what? People going to want to check out the song. The song gets more plays and it runs up. It and gets in, bigger. And in a crazy way, this is what we always said about the whole blocking. Hell, you can take the, the money from the mm -hmm. video. Why block it? Mm -hmm. We've always said that with videos that were under UMG, like, why block it? That's free publicity for you. We're checking out a track that people are gonna want to go and listen to, whether we liked it or not. Somebody mm -hmm. else is gonna go, gonna go gather their own they opinion. They listen because they knew they had something big, and and that just all right. But to continue, it says Drake has some legal uh, goals here. He says he's following the suit just to get a full understanding of how UMG funnel payments to our heart radio and his network of stations. He's trying to figure out how that bread was getting there mm -hmm. and how, you know, where it was taken from and how it was getting in that bank. Mm -hmm. Once he has that info, according to the docs, he's gearing up to file a civil fraud and racketeering case against UMG and co-conspirators. Remember, not like us famously included the lyric where Drake calls Drake, where yes. Kendrick calls Drake a certified P. And Drake says he's already has grounds to sue UMG for defamation, among other things. It's also worth noting UMG also distributes Drake's music, like we said, but that's clearly not stopping him from going to war again. Yeah, and so, it, yeah, it's, 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 it's it, heavy, man. It's basically giving the vibes of, well, I made you niggas this much, more. I'm making you millions. And millions. Yeah. And not only are you pushing a song- You're trying then, to end me. Pretty You're much. pushing a song that is actively calling me, uh, accusing me of something wild, and you pushing it with bots and everything else. Once again, I'm one of your top earners, and yeah. we're trying to negotiate some type of contract, yeah. you know, going forward. So mm -hmm. I can understand why he would feel that way. It's like, I'm the guy that's been really bring, bringing y'all the bread. And then now it's almost looked as if you're trying to ruin my career once I didn't put you guys on this 
this high pedestal mm -hmm. um, with all the hits I've had. Mm -hmm. And now it's like you're funneling money to help this dude kind of take my career now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, essentially. That's literally what it is. The only problem with that, and, and that's, that's this, that. this, this is a big problem here, is it's unfortunate because it comes off, even though he may have a legitimate reason to want to sue him, because he's not suing Kendrick. And also, UMG did say, and we saw this uh, on Twitter, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but they did say, you know, after, you know, Drake was announcing that that's what was going to happen, well, not Drake, but his lawyers, mm -hmm. it was like, if anything, it's really a uh, Duckworth from TDE that you need to sue. So if this is a situation that's going to keep going, then we're going to have to sue them. This poses the question, is this the, the route and lane that Drake should be taking? Optically, no, because people, let's keep it a buck, people are only going to see things at face value. Yeah. So when you see the headlines on Shade Room, oh, is Drake shoot, suing UMG because of Not Like Us? People are automatically, yeah. oh, he a sore loser. This ain't hip hop. Because we don't is, read, we read headlines. We, we, don't read, we read headlines. <laughs> we don't read the actual article. So from the general public, most people that's not going to take time to read that and figure out why it's going to look like, damn, this nigga Drake can't take the L. Yeah. That's literally what it's going to look like. Yeah. And even when you read a little bit more into the context of why, it still don't look good because it's one of those things where we always got to go back to what he said initially. He wanted all the smoke. Yeah. And unfortunately, the smoke is being brought to him at full force and is being brought to him, him in a way where it makes him look incredibly bad. Because calling someone or accusing someone of that that type of thing and is being played everywhere, it, it it definitely does take a take a hit to your to your career. And I think it kind of it's, it's two ways you could think of this. Um, one way you can look at it as he did call for the smoke. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And he did want him. And he was like, no, nah, no, nah, you're not ducking this this yeah. pin. This this back and forth. But I can also see it being a point where it was a lot of, you know, powers at hand mm -hmm. that had a play in mm -hmm. bringing Drake down yeah. and not letting the battle be an even back yeah. and forth just between the two on wax. Yeah. It kind of looked like it went beyond the wax when it started to become, you know, accusations Patience, yeah. that, you know, you got sponsors and all this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And people start to look at you funny when you're starting to be you know, titled or, you know, labeled a certain thing, especially when you got brands like Nike. Yeah. You know, and they have to answer to people for still being attached to you. Yeah. So when you already have that going on, but then you have the like UMG pretty much boosting it. Yeah. To so it can get more views and you know that 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 you know fire can extend to grow even you know larger mm -hmm. it starts to make you question like okay how many people are actually behind the scenes really trying to destroy my career oh yeah more oh, than sure. just a battle it's like it it stopped being a rap beef and it went into something bigger than that Oh yeah, because this beef really exposed a lot on both sides, but definitely yeah. it exposed it, how many people really hate this nigga. Drake, and bro. and they're trying to, I guess, the demise of him. So yeah. it it went past wax. Yeah, no, it we, it, didn't, we didn't want it to. And social media, they, mm -hmm. they played the social media hand, mm -hmm. and it's just it's really a lose lose to Drake. I mean, oh yeah, you, it's, you don't yeah. say nothing. You know, people say when you don't speak on certain things, you're guilty. Yeah. You know, sometimes. And then uh, you do speak up on it or you try to, you know, sue and try to get to the root of, well, why are y'all boosting this like this mm -hmm. when I've made you millions of dollars? People are going to look at you like, oh, man, you sue him because you lost. Just yeah. take your L and go on. Yeah. Well, he's been, to me, he's been quiet about it, you know, for the most part. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, he ain't been... He'll have his little... They'll show videos of him telling people to cut stuff off or yeah. don't play this artist. But social media will blow that up as, oh, they're living rent-free in your head. Mm -hmm. You know, when it's just like, you catch me saying a certain thing, you can think I'm thinking about this all the time when I'm really not. But you got the whole world aiming and targeting you. You're going to be bound to say something yeah. here and there for months, right? And yeah. then, I don't know, man. It's just so many ways. Like, and I'm not picking this eye. I always want a peace throughout this regardless mm -hmm. but this beef is kind of turning into something like that i kind of wish we didn't have mm -hmm. it's like we always wanted to see it but then now it's just like eh, we could have went without it because it's really tearing a you know a yeah. ripple into 
yeah. the, the hip hop community. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really unfortunate. It's just one of those things where, you know, and reading the headlines at first, I was like, oh man, it's not a good, it's not the not the not the go to move, Drake. Yeah, I was kind of dis- disappointed, but once you know you actually you break it down past and, the and, and read past the headline, you're like. Okay, I can understand why he would feel that way. He's in negotiations with them. He feels like this is the company he's like made so me. much money for, and y'all promoting the song artificially. You're promoting the song artificially even more to put more money into y'all pockets on something that they're saying essentially like destroying my me, career, uh, destroying my career. But you're gonna want to still want me on the label, and that, or and, you and, still and want me around. People are fake to to the whole argument because. You and somebody get into it, right? Mm-hmm. And let's say you and that person get into it and y'all have y'all back and forth or whatever, beef, whatever ensues from there. But then you find out later on that somebody else was promoting or pushing that person to, you know, look like they yeah. did more harm to you than what actually happened, right? And mm-hmm. then you're supposed to be cool with this person. Like, you got to think about it in a, in a different scenario. That may not have been the best yeah. uh, example, but... You know, for lack of a better one, you have to think about things in life in general. Like, if you was in his shoes, like you would you're working with like a label it. who's boosting, like, and bro, people do it all the time with with views and stuff. Like, oh, we yeah. have companies out there, bro. We've been offered, mm-hmm. um, and our but when we first started YouTube, I'm talking about with ten subscribers. Hey, all you gotta do is pay such such amount. We'll get you to a thousand mm-hmm. subscribers. And there's people who actually do that because mm-hmm. the thing is, when people see more numbers backed by your channel, they're more allotted to go watch your video than someone who has less viewers. Yeah. Don't tell me why that's true, but that's just, a, I guess, how the human mind works. You see a tutorial on something, what tutorial are you going to go to? The one with mo- the most views or the least views? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's just kind of one of those things. And I guess research that they do to try to get people to pay for subscribers and stuff like that. So when you're a whole label that got millions and millions and millions of dollars behind yeah. your back, and you're able to funnel money to, you know, get bots and stuff like that to people, there's bots in comments. Mm-hmm. You be seeing comments about certain things that happen. It'll be a tragic situation happen, bro. And you'll go in the comments and somebody will be like, oh man, can you check out my music? Uh, mm-hmm. such and such, Cause it don't have nothing to do with the t- post is about. So people run bots, but mm-hmm. I just, at this point is like, the beef really turns real sour. I mean, you got him, Kendrick performing for the Super Bowl, yep. not a whole Lil Wayne thing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's kind of taking a domino effect. And, you know, now Lil Wayne, like, oh, don't wake up the beast because y'all think I'm tripping about something. And yeah, it's, 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 it's just trickling down to a lot of things. That, it's a lose lose for Drake at this point, man. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. If it does come out, that was the case, then, you know, it. it it still don't take away Drake yeah, got the L. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it don't yeah, it change. Does. It, doesn't. it doesn't change anything, but it will it will give credence to what he feels is like, going you know, what's been really going on. It's like, oh, the hype of the song wasn't just because it was naturally, you know, even though it was a great song, I think oh, it was yeah, going sure. to be popular regardless. The machine definitely assisted in that yeah. with the social media tactics. And that's what they're going to do because yeah. they're trying to make as much money as possible. They don't give a damn. Yeah. And I'm sure Drake now realize that. They don't give a fuck how many millions you make them. If they see an opportunity, they're going to take it. They're going to take the opportunity and they're going to make as much money as possible, even at the detriment to their biggest earner. Because guess what? It's about money. I hate to say that. And yeah, he's learning a hard lesson <laughs> in, you know, there ain't no loyalty, especially in this music industry, nah. to no artist, no matter how big. If they would do, you know, I mean, uh, what's the name? Michael Jackson was dealing with a lot with Sony. Yeah. And he was the biggest artist in the world. If they would do him like that. It's up for anybody. It's up for anybody. Don't ever think these labels give a damn about you further than how much money you can make them. Simple as that. So, And that's so true, bro. bro um, another take back and question is, where does he go from here? Um, how does this change and affect his, you know, music going forward and not... As far as, I mean, of course, I know working with certain people, but um, I'm just interested to see a, a rap album. What has he got to say? Oh, well, I know he's about to do a Park yeah, Next Door collab. Yeah, uh, they um, little R&B joint, so I don't know if we're going to get a, another rap album for a while. But uh, but when he does, it's going to be a lot to say. Yeah, man. so. But Kendrick right now, man, congrats to him doing his thing. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, fortunately, however you want to look at it, 
he's going to have a hell of a year. And yeah, he it is ain't next even year, over sure. yet, man. It's just getting started. He's yeah. about to do the Super Bowl. And there's mixed, you know, opinions about that, too. Yeah. You know, so I really want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you I think Drake chose the right choice? Do you think he was damned if he did, damned if he didn't? Yeah. Uh, let us know your opinions down below. Again, let us not forget that these are two other individuals that we do not know personally. Nope. Um, these are just our opinions. Yeah. We do not have a stake in either side <laughs> just expressing how we feel based off of what's being said yeah i can give two f words even though i don't like to curse anymore um but i just will say hey humans you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you gotta put your faith in god and all things no matter what because he'll never fail you but sure. we will fail you yeah and that's clearly being displayed but yeah. love you guys continue to spread love be love as usual because the world needs a lot of that mm -hmm. always keep god first and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Peace. This is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. So why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle having me.